Hi there YouTubers, welcome back to my channel Workshop Fun. Um, today I'd just like to post a little update. I have had the opportunity to turn around and secure my Victron, uh, what's it, what is the exact name of it? Victron Phoenix Inverter Compact 2000 Watt. So I've had a chance to install that now. I haven't had a chance to wire it though yet, that's another big job. Um, actually it's not too bad but yeah I just haven't had the chance and I've got to do other things first before I wire that in so anyway I will start showing you what I've done today right so this is the unit secured I've put it in an area where there's plenty of space around it and above it and I've also did my usual trick. I used, I bought a cheap chopping board, a bamboo one, chopped it in half on the table saw, and then glued and screwed that to the floor of the caravan. Now that's doing a couple of things. That's acting as a, a brace for mounting the um, inverter, and also it's giving the inverter a bit of extra space off the ground so a bit of air circulation the other thing I did regarding air circulation is I had an old vent for my um, caravan now it actually came off the front door and I put a cat door in my caravan so this was no longer required and it's been sitting around for ages and it's an old faded yellow one which matches quite well with the timber so I made a cutout in the board and turn around and secured this vent to the um, board here and also to give it strength I glued it as well as screwed it in and I've deliberately positioned that right next to the inverters, inverters fan outlets so I believe air is being sucked out there yeah so it'll just get blown out here and also on a hot day it'll just mean that you know it's got extra cooling so the other cool thing is if you know the inverter starts getting hot down here it's right next to this doorway so I can just open the door and there you go, it'll cool down nicely. So, very good spot, and it's very close to the battery bank as you can tell, which makes it easy. Very close to a good earth, all I gotta do is, there's your earth, drill down here, into the ground, and through down straight to the chassis. The chassis rail is not far away from here at all. So, easy peasy to get a good earth, really easy actually. Um, yeah, so all up, I'm very pleased with how this has turned out. I'll give you a, a different view. So, you can see my battery recharger, which is actually switched off at the moment because even on this miserable day, I'm still using solar to charge my battery through my nice new solar charger. So, all up, my Victron system will have this the solar charger very nice unit the 2000 watt inverter and then the AC charger when I need to charge my battery via AC it'd have to be a pretty miserable day but yeah it's good overnight though too if you just want to use 12 volt overnight and you don't want to run the battery down I can just switch it on so yeah all up I'm very happy with the way the installations come out it's all hidden away it's taking up a bit of my storage but in saying that I don't have much and I didn't need the storage here I actually didn't have much in underneath here I used to have me sub but I've stuck that underneath my bed over underneath there so that's good. 
So yeah, that's about it for now. I'll post another update when I get the wiring done. Alright, thank you very much. Bye.